Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Magic Switch on Canva. Now, I have to tell you that you'll be able to use Magic Switch if you are using Canva Pro account. If you don't have the Canva Pro account, you might not be able to use it and Canva will ask you to upgrade your account first before you'll be able to play around with the Magic Switch. Right now that you know about it we're going to go ahead and get started first things first you want to choose the design that you will want to translate or resize because that is what you can do with the magic switch i am just going to go ahead and go to the social media section and search for an instagram story which is this one's right here and let's say that i want to resize it into the Instagram post size. So this is the editor and on the left side of the screen we'll be able to see the templates and I will be using it for this tutorial today but don't worry this will be useful for any other design. So let's say that I am going to be using maybe this one's right here and let's say that I want to change this into Instagram post. All I have to do is use the magic switch of Canva. On the previous version, you'll be able to find the magic switch button on the top left of your screen, which is right here. But I think in the latest version of Canva, they change it to resize instead of magic switch, but it's basically the same thing. So. The magic switch button are supposed to be over here and what it does is that it's going to help you to resize your design and you can also translate your design. So here I have the options to resize it first. You can see that I already have this adjusted design size to resize this once into and if I scroll all the way down, I'll be able to find the translate option as well as the transform into dog option, which I think is the additional privilege in which you can do with the magic switch button from Canva. So let's start by resizing it first. Again, I'm going to change this one into Instagram post, but to make the difference even more visible i think i'm going to change it to instagram post that is square instead of portrait as you can see here so i'm going to search for instagram post which is this one's right here so i'm going to go ahead and click on it and then click on continue now you have the options to resize these exact design or you can just copy and resize so that you will have your original design if you're going to be using this design with the original size later on, I suggest you to just copy and resize it, but I'm not going to be using this anymore, so I'm just going to directly resize this one. And as you can see, I got the design resize to the Instagram post size. It's very easy, you don't have to manually resize all of the element, it's going to do the work for you. And if you would like to adjust the picture, you can just go ahead and double click on the picture you can just double click on the picture or the video in this case and scroll it around until you find the desired angle that you want. All right, so that is the first thing that you can do with the magic switch. Now let's try and translate our design. Again, go to this resize or magic switch button scroll all the way down until you found this translate option and then you can choose on which language you want this design to translate to let's say i want to translate this to french and you can also choose the tone of voice and this one is optional you don't really have to choose any if you don't want to you can just use the original one but you have the options to choose professional conversational friendly informative as well as inspirational I'm just going to be using the original one so i'm going to leave it as it is and again you have the option to translate the existing design without creating a copy but if you would like to still be using this one in the near future you should make a copy 
but again I'm just going to translate this exact same one and then I'm going to go ahead and click on translate and now we wait until it's done and there you go we got the whole text translated to French because that is my chosen language we got it here and now let's try to translate it again and see if we can do it I'm going to translate it back to English go ahead and click on translate and there you go we got it translated back to English again and I can see that there is one part that is missed but that's okay it still works in general now let's try and do it with one more page now I'm going to try and change this one from Instagram post into maybe a TikTok video so I'm going to go to the resize sections here and I'm going to search for TikTok video just this one's right here and I'm going to change just page 2 because I don't want to change the page 1 then go ahead and click on continue and because I only choose one page from two I can only have the options to copy and resize and it's fine so I'm going to go ahead and click copy and resize now I got the design resized into my desired outcome now let's compare it to the first one so this is how it looks like in the form of Instagram post and I can see that the original video is quite long that's why it is very good it still looks good when I resize it to the TikTok post so that is how you can use the magic switch button whether it's for you to resize your design or to translate your design now i'm going to show you how it will looks like if you are not using the canva pro account so here i have opened my other account that is not a canva pro account and one of the things that you can notice when you're not using canva pro account is the crown symbol which is the symbol for the pro account is colored so the one that i got before is sort of grayish blue so it's not colored because that one is a pro account if i try to resize this design this is the things that i will see and instead of getting the resize option like this one you see i can just go ahead and click on continue this one shows get canva teams instead or get canva pro because this one is actually a teams account so that is why i told you earlier in the video that you will be needing canva pro account for using the magic switch and that's basically it that is how you can use the magic switch on canva i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day